Wow. This video was awesome. I wish that there was more exactly like it. Oh, they came out with the next one. How convenient that I am recording right now as it... Hey, yo, it's your boy, Yub, and uh, that's right. Fears to Fathom, Norwood, Hitchhike. The hit sequel to Fears of Fathom, Home Alone. Is it great or are we gonna hate? Let's find out to date on Yub. When am I gonna stop? When am I gonna stop talking? Ooh, I can tell it's scary because it, it looks like a VHS tip. Fears to Fathom, Episode 2, Norwood, Hitchhike. June 16th, 1984. Just guessing. The screen was black. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help even just a little bit. You could tell us anything. We're the internet. We're definitely not going to make fun of you and make memes out of your pain. We probably are going to do that. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. No! I'd go to every convention I got the chance to until COVID ruined everything and sometimes even meet some of my online friends who are also nerds, though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives. But a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great. It was now the day to drive back home. When I set off, I soon realized traffic was terrible. I decided I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. Yo, don't ever take the long way for that amount of distance, guys, because you end up going through like freaking just backwoods. There's no gas stations. Look, there's a barbed wire fence. Why are we get? Pretty sure I'm in a horror game. I should get out of this thing and walk. Why would I do that? Why would I get out? I'm having a vibe. Why are we getting out? I don't understand. Are we here? Oh, we're here. The barbed wire. This is so dark. Oh, I opened the trunk. Of course I did. What am I do Throw what? Oh, is that a skateboard chill? Hey, boys. This is the spot. We boarding. Let's go. All right. Kickflip time. Why am I out of the car? No one has explained a single thing. Do I pause? There is no, oh yeah, from the first game, there was the, there was the, the texting mechanic that never really did anything. Drive safe, Holly, don't forget to call me. Am I a girl? Call dad, yeah, I'm going to the convention, gonna get your car for five days? You get the kid the car for five days? With Aiden, it's a nice guy. You're not going on a 10 hour drive by yourself. Well, I made my mind up, I'll drive you. I don't understand anything, dad. Let's talk when I get home. Obviously, she got her way. You got it, Dad. Here's the car. Anything else leaving now? Drive safe. Today at 547. Let's see what Aiden has to say. I don't trust him already because he's a boy. We got tickets. I'll see if I can get the car. I'll let you know. Gonna take Milo on a walk. Oh, a puppy? The plan is on. You get in the car? Yep. Big girl. What did he say? You sure Ash can't come? I'll get the skateboard too. Saw this really cool. Wait, maybe this guy's awesome. Discord, where are you? Almost there. I don't see you. Peach shirt. Oh, so then they hung out. Fun. I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. You sure you're driving all the way back? I don't have a choice now, do I? You could have left tomorrow morning. Babe. Give me a call when you reach back to your cave. Not sure if it'll be this lifetime. Stuck in the biggest traffic jam. It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting. So the traffic was bad. We're texting Aiden. I couldn't drive leaving my stuff behind. Wait, then why did we get out? I'm just going to go somewhere. I'll take the board. What am I doing though? Like, why am I? Oh, I'm just in the forest now. Okay. I wasn't even supposed to get out. Oh, okay. Well, skirt, skirt. Oh, hold on. How do you break? I'll just text and drive. It's fine. You gotta do what you gotta do, he said. All right, bet. Let's go. Okay, so me getting out of the car was completely not supposed to happen. It just was what I did. Can I go off the road? Oh, yo! I'll admit it. I was a terrible driver. Did we flip? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, a van. Hey, oh, this is a bat. Flip the car. You can, in Halo, you just push the button to do, to do the warthog. Wait, my car is really messed up. <laughs> this game has some high stakes for messing up. It's 40 minutes long. We are still at minute zero. Hold on, my dad's texting me. How do you, let me slow down at least. Dad, where did you reach? Freaking nowhere, dude. I'm in the middle of nowhere. My gas better be full, because this is what you don't want. I'm assuming we run out of gas and have to hitchhike. There's the guy. 
Have I seen some horror movies or what? Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. You drove for six hours without realizing? No, you got a plan for this. What did I say in the intro? You don't go on the back roads unless you know where all the gas stations are. Still about six hours away, got stuck in a jam. I told you to take the flight, said dad. She didn't say anything about the car being out of gas. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you get back. I hope you're feeling all right. Well, we know that there was one person on the road, that van. Apparently the car is still going, but slower, which is not how cars running out of gas work. Hold on, what is this? Is this a gas station? Oh my gosh, thank the Lord. Let me get it. What side's the gas tank on? Hold on. Is it a Volkswagen or a regular? Don't crash. Don't crash. That's good enough. Well, let's pull up like right here. And they got a soda machine. There's no crouching. There is crouching. Nice chair. Norwood gas station. Hey, yo, I need some gas. Let me, uh, hello. There's a man walking. He's very, got great posture. Insanely good posture. And just wearing those pants. How's your night going? So he's stretching like he's about to choke me. He just looked at me. Hold on, my mom's texting me. Uh, my mom texted me, Holly. Mom? Why do y'all text like you don't know whose number it was before you text? Hey there, buddy bear. Oh, you've been hitting them chips a little hard, huh? Here's this. I want that, please. Can I get $10 on pump? Now, I don't think $10 is gonna get you the next six hours. You hitting the bridge by yourself? The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster tore them up and hung them upside down on the trees. Uh, can I use the toilet? It's not clean. Who cares? I'm gonna poop in it. And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say she died in a car accident on prom night. Some say she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Okay, well that's not good for me because I'm 99% sure we're gonna end up hitchhiking since the name of the freaking game has the word hitchhike in it. Hold on, this guy's walking like baldy. Wow. He's walking like a Minecraft character. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, stay out. We got 10 bucks of gas, boys. My gas light is still on. 10 bucks didn't even put a dent in that gas tank of ours. I'm not sure why, but at first I went on without, I thought I did it. Wait, no, 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 go back. Reverse the thing. I thought the game did it automatically. My bad, hold up. They had dialogue in there for if you're stupid enough to leave without pumping your gas. We'll pump the gas. Here we go. I'm pumping the gas. I filled the tank. I filled the tank with $10. This what kind of gas prices y'all got? Since my mom asked, I had to buy something for Milo. Oh, what? Could you get something for Milo? We're out of dog food. Oh, okay. Here you go, sir. I need to buy this. That'll be $5, ma'am. Here you go. I'm gonna toss this in the trunk right fast. Bada bop boo. Bop bop. Oh, put it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close it. It's good. We did that. Freaking 38 minutes later, we've got gas. We're back on the road. Being on the road, you do realize something. That anything could happen to you out here? Monsters truly do exist. Oh, we're about to see the girl in the dress. How much you want to bet? Every single one of them looks just like you and me. Who the frick? That's not anything. Hold on. My mom's texting me. I'm on a blind corner, mom. Not the best time. I'm going to check it. Hold on. Mom said it's not expired or anything. The gas. Surprisingly, there was dog food at the gas station. Okay. My headlights just went out. This is a big jump scare. I can just feel it. Oh, that's back. Never mind. We're good. Just a little drive in the fort. Stop with the flickers. Now I got a fuse problem on top of everything else. My fuse. Oh, the, we got to check the fuse. Oh, there's a car. Okay. They probably think I'm flashing my lights at them like a freaking dickhead. They're probably pissed off. You talk too much, now you oh, up. I yeah. You headlights back on. Gonna look for a woman. Gonna hit her with my sedan. Oh, oh, it's the bridge. Oh my gosh, go fast. It's the bridge. Go fast. This is the bridge they warned me about. This is not good. They better not do one of these like when you turn and look, there's someone in your freaking seat for no reason. Okay, not loving the static. Okay, we, we're on a road. I mean, we made it over the bridge somehow. There's a, okay, there goes a car. Not a good sign. Not a good sign, not a good sign. The thing is like if I needed help, 
And I had to hitchhike right here. Look out for the rabbit. Not swerving. We're good. We're, we're fine. This is fine. Just don't stop. Oh, no. Here it goes. There's another bridge. I think this is a bad one. It said no left turn right there. Fine. There's this very weird thing about that night. The freaking tree. I saw two big logs in the middle. Just push them with the car. Push them with the car. I'm going to push them. Mm. I thought I could drive past the logs, but they wouldn't budge. It almost seems if someone deliberately put them there. That's the first thing I thought. Can we push them? Those were heavy. Oh, she's doing it though. Good job. Okay. 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 This is good. This is good. This is good. Get in the car. Go, go, go. We're in the car. We're going. Ah! It was like me closing the door. It's smoking. No, the car wouldn't start. Oh no, this is it. This is how it happens. Just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I heard something bad. I'd be lying if I say I didn't feel the slightest bit uneasy. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at that moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Yeah, this is like pretty out of the way. This is not good. 10.23 p.m. Okay, someone's gonna come by, I guess. I don't even have a flashlight. What we got in the trunk? Hold on, I saw a car coming. Is this a hat? Is this a foot? Oh, it's a, I thought it was a fedora. Oh my God. Yo, 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 wait, 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 wait. Well, that was my chance. Pure evil. <laughs> I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Come back, they'll come back. Maybe they'll come back. 10.43, okay, 20 more minutes later. You're, you're picking me up or you're hitting me. All right, let's go. Where are we going? I'll hitch a ride this way. Hey, I need a ride. The freaking just, <laughs> they just s slammed into me and dragged me for 20 feet. You're the girl from the gas station. Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? Well, I think my car just broke down. Genius. He didn't say anything. I'm gonna say, I can't call for help. There's no phone service. Nothing. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Uh, just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thank you so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for- Okay, 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 let's go. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. I'm gonna get my stuff. Dog food, hat, we got everything. We cleaned the place out. All right, let's go. I'm done. Finally, now hop in and be quick. All right, rude. Am I getting in the side? Okay, let's go. Hey, yo, what's up, dude? What's your name is, bro? He's got glasses, so I kind of trust him. Like, nerds usually aren't- they, They're they not too evil. He probably was probably the first time he smelled a girl in his life, but other than that, we're doing good. I'm just kidding. I'm a nerd, by the way. That's why I feel qualified to talk crap on nerds so you won't tell me who you are or where you're going um i was driving home and that piece of crap broke down jason what my name's jason oh okay it's nice to meet you jason did he smile this is like that game rides with strangers is he gonna jump scare jason you're really lucky i had to be on this side of town tonight i must say you are one brave young woman oh how's that i'm being super nice by the way you got any clue what happened to your car back there I don't know. It never broke down on me like that ever. It's my dad's car. It's pretty. I'm getting a feeling he messed with our car. It's my dad's car. It's pretty old. I'm starting to feel like Jason sabotaged our car so he could pick us up. Jason, I can walk faster than this, dude. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Oh, you were listening, huh? Um, really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Well, he's trying to save lives, okay? So, is it true? What? The monster? <laughs> Let's see. I never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. So, it's like a... Do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. Thank you, Jason. Oh, a oh, wise one. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with women. I mean, people. We got that vibe, Jason. Midnight 08 a.m. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me at a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said before leaving. Okay, nice guy, Jason. Maybe. Or maybe... It, he's gonna come back and do something. Not approved for occupancy. Uh-oh. Well, we don't really have a lot of choice, though. There's a tow truck right here. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is great. Let's go in. Hey, I need a room. Hey, oh! How did I not see you? 
Bruh. You're the same guy. The man was putting off the creepiest vibes imaginable. You need a room to shack up for the night? Yes, I'm only going to be here for a few hours. $40 for a single. Cash only. All right. Hey, your buddy from the gas station, y'all running a racket? I guess this guy's a little bit more in shape than the gas station guy. Room number nine. Talk about the car. $90. Tommy will take care of it in the morning. I'll pay that too. Maybe there's a good ending in this. Maybe we're doing it right. I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. No girls allowed. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to that. Oh, okay. I'll be as quiet as a mouse. Oh, my mom. Oh, all the text coming in now. Hold on. Here's nine. Let me get in the room real nice and warm. Close this. What the frick? Now why? Now why? Now why? There was a smell. A musky smell you get from old houses. There's not even a freaking mattress, by the way. Where you at? Your dad's calling me. Mom said, Holly. Text messages didn't go through to my dad. Okay, first thing you do is check the closet for intruders. You can hide in the cl- Wait. My my microphone? Only when I'm hiding, right? The bathroom doesn't work. It's not real. Uh, no! Ah! I'm gone. I'm leaving. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm there. Sir, there's someone in my room, sir. Sir. Front desk, sir. There's someone in my closet. Yo, 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 yo. There's someone in my there's someone in my room. There was a guy in my closet. You have a great night sleep. I can't say anything. There's there's a man in my Let me just run diagonally back over there, I guess. Maybe I can ask somebody else for help. Someone looks out their window. They just see a girl running across the parking lot like This is, however, why you check. Close the door. Hold on, close this. Oh my gosh. What are you doing here? I should be asking you that. Did they double book the rooms? I'm Tommy. Room service here at Roadway Inn. The finest stop. What were you doing in the bathroom? You know, cleaning stuff. The guy at the front desk gave me the room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. I really need some energy soda. Yeah, I feel that. Me too. Some of these look like energy drinks, right? Cola. New chocolate. Consuming these items increases your sprint speed. What? The cola must be the best. We're doing that. I will definitely in be increasing my sprint speed. Please tell me it's doing a checkpoint. I feel like I'm about to get caught. Don't you just feel like that? Consume. I love the fast sprint. You ain't you ain't gonna catch me, Tommy. All right, bro. I'm all caffeined up. I had a word with Joe about your situation. What's wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry. It's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> but you have a good night. Don't let the door hit you where the good lord split you, Tommy. All right, whatever. Can I sleep now? I guess we're sleeping. Oh, man. Why does it look like this? What am I doing? Get up, get up. Hey, yo, no, no, no. Did we lock it? Call it a foresight, but there was something very off about this place. Did I even lock it? Get up, get up, get up. Get the closet. Go, 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 go. Fast. Couldn't shake the feeling someone right. Go, go, go. She wants coffee. Are you sure? She wants coffee now. This girl. We're about to get jump scared. Hold on. I got coffee in this place? No. No, you don't. How do I get coffee? Is there a coffee machine that I just missed? Someone's breathing. Listen. Who's breathing? I don't care. I don't care. Get the coffee and go. Bye. Espresso. Consuming the items helps you stay awake. Okay. Good to know. Consume. All right. Time to run. Time to run. Go. Fast. I hear breathing still. Did she black out in the parking lot? My controls are back backwards controls. Okay, hold on. We're going to push. If I can just get pointed. The right. They drugged my coffee. Okay, this way. This is the way. We're doing fine. I've got my controls reversed. I'm making it to my room. I'm making it to my room. We're fine. This is so hard, by the way. They drugged the espresso. I should have known. Okay. Okay, we're back. We're back. Close. Close. Okay, this is so difficult. Okay, please don't be anybody in my bathroom. Get in the closet, get in the closet. Turn around. Okay. Um, well, I'm alive. Just get in the bed, I guess. 
It, that's the dangers of over caffeination. I need to stop today. 318. Okay, we slept a little bit, like three hours, right? I was sedated. Yeah, somebody definitely drugged us. I think we should have slept in the closet, but I was not presented with that option. That's what I would do. I'm up. Oh, we didn't check those texts. Hold on, can I check my... Somebody's in the room. Somebody's in the room. I can't read this stuff. Somebody in the closet. That's the sound that I heard. It was the closet. Get the phone. Not great. <laughs> no, I knew I heard the closet. Punch him in the nuts. Dude, it's right there. Please let there be a freaking checkpoint. Please. What? What? Oh, my. Oh, autosave. I was about to literally be so mad. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. We get dropped off. We go in to get a room. Okay. 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 This is, this should be an autosave. I'm just throwing it out there. Didn't feel safe going out. This girl is, she wants to die. What is that sound? Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. It's, it's this guy. I need help. I need help. Hey, there's someone in my room. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Mention the coffee machine. Why is your eyes all red? Yeah, mention the coffee machine. Something ain't right, bro. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine. It was a plant. It's right over there. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one. Follow me. I hate my job. He wants us to take him to the coffee machine, which is not going to be there anymore, right? What happened? Show me your coffee machine now. Oh, I'm so scared because I think if I open the closet, I'll die, but I really want to. Maybe he'll help us. A coffee machine for sure gone. All the way gone. Wait, look, I told you he was in the trunk. I freaking told you I heard breathing in the trunk. Go back to the room. For some reason, his demeanor completely changed. Hold on. Go back to the room. Maybe he knows something's up. What happened? I said go back now. Did you not hear me? I said go back to the room and don't get out. Check the table by the TV. But there's someone in my room, dude. There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the tape. Now we're just gonna take pills from this guy? What are these pills? I'm just gonna take them. I wanna know what they are. Requires water. This still seems fine. Am I supposed to? Oh, there's a sink right there. Oh. Okay, well, I know there's no one in the closet. Get the sink. I'm nervous. Ugh. And what are we taking? She can't even read the bottle. She's just trusting this freaking guy in his stupid sweater. Some pills. She drank a lot of water. I now have to pee because of that sound effect. Thanks for that. Do I hide now? Do I hide now? Do I hide now? Take the flight. It's going to be late. I'll be all right. Wait, what happened to the text that didn't come through? What do you want? I'm not, we shouldn't open the door. Hello? What are my options? Well, we've reached a point where it's gonna make me die, I guess. Because it won't let me use the phone. I can't peek at the dude. TV does nothing. Just open it. Oh, here we go. Um, do nothing. Hello? Now hide. Is it different? I have to pee so bad that I'm gonna go pee and leave this. See what happens. Okay, I guess we'll go with who is it? I'm not opening the door. Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. Now I do nothing. Now I do nothing. This game does not reward being cautious and it's pissing me off. Do not open the door. Who is it? I need your help. Please, please open the door. Please do nothing. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm calling the cops. Pretty lady. <laughs>
Did it get him? Nice job. Nice job. Nice job, guy from the front desk. What a real one. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation. I believe the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. That guy from the front desk was a real one. He was like, oh, I still feel like if it was me in that situation, as soon as the guy stepped into the bathroom and his back was turned, I would explode out of that closet and kick him square in the back so he falls into the tub and then I'm gone. You know what I mean? You ain't gonna catch me out like that. Maybe she was like still drugged a little bit. So I think if we had opened the door, we probably would have died. Uh, if you got a different outcome from this game, let me know in the comments down below. I'm very curious about it, but I don't want to play the whole game again since it took forever. But wow, fears to fathom. We look forward to your next chapter. My feedback for the developer would be more auto saves or let us manually save because it's a bummer to replay a lot of the game sometimes. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any more fun ideas for games to play, it doesn't have to be horror. It could be anything. Leave them down in the comments. I'll check it out. And thank you for watching. Patreon supporters, thanks for that financial support. And thank you to you just for paying attention to me. That's so cool. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Make sure you keep that chin up, work hard, and believe in yourselves. And as always, have a bye five. It's such a Man, I wasted a lot of time sitting in that closet, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs>